Hi guys, um, I got a new toy. This is a LED light, <laughs> which I'm hoping will work for my some of my plants every winter. Um, I went to the Mother Earth News Fair. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a um, head bandit you want to play. <laughs> um, it's a festival type thing with um, a bunch of gardening slash holistic alternative lifestyle type stuff. <laughs> um, but this guy was there. He's a lighting engineer and he invented this light, which is pretty cool um, and not real expensive. Um, okay, I'll do this little unboxing with you guys. This, uh, these are cords to hang it with. Um, they, they did sell a stand, but I don't need a stand because I have a shelf. Oh, come on out. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pull that out. All right. So this is what's in the box. Um, there's the cords to hang it. These are vinyl. What's it say? Vinyl adhesive strips can be placed on the sides of the V2 light to block extraneous light. It will perform equally well with or without the lights. Okay, so they're just black strips. This is digital timer, so it comes with a timer. And I believe this is the power supply. Here's a company name, Happy Leaf. And there's a picture of the light. And there's the light. It's very thin. Um, it's made in the U.S. So there it is. Um, I'm gonna go set this up on a shelf real quick so you guys can see what it looks like, and we'll see from there. Um, hold on, I'm gonna go do that. Or I, don't, uh, I, can't, I need both hands. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it, <laughs> and then I'll be back. All right, guys, that was super easy to set up. Um, and super bright. I don't even know if you guys can see how bright it is. Um, it is slightly pink, pinky red. Um, he did say that there are, you can't even see. Um, so we'll go. There's red, blue, red, and then there's a white LED. Red, blue, red, blue, red, white, red, blue, red. So there's a couple white in there, so it looks more um, more naturalish. It still is very pink, but like, here, hold on. I'll grab a plant. <laughs> so these are my plants under fluorescence, and move it over here. So that's under um, the LED. So it is a bit pink, but. I don't think it's anything to, you know, some of them are really harsh red, um, but I think I could probably handle that. Um, um, I don't know what else to say about it. It was very easy to set up. These are the cords. They just go through two holes, and these little things allow you to adjust the height on my shelf. So, there. And you just plug this in. And I don't. I did not um, put the timer on it, just because I wanted to see how it was working. I actually don't have any plants brought in yet, but soon the shelf will be full of plants and not crap. <laughs> Little copper heart. <laughs> um, yeah, let me check out the paper. I will tell you what it says as far as specs. Um, hold on. All right. I don't know. I'll read it to you, but you can probably read. Self-contained, simply attach the power supply, adjust the timer for specific plant needs. Tune to optimal wavelengths that plants absorb mostly efficiently. Uh, blue and red. Five times the growth power compared to equal power to T5 fluorescent. Light and weight and water resistant. Uses a UL class two low voltage power supply. Draws 27 watts. Can be powered directly from batteries or a solar system. Minimum 50,000 hour lifespan. Warranted for three years. And that's about it. Um, 
the guy didn't know much about orchids, so that's okay. <laughs> he does mostly um, passive hydroponics, which he gave me a free passive hydroponics kit. Um, so I bought one of these. It was a hundred dollars at the show, plus tax. And I think on the website, I think it's one twenty nine ninety nine, but free shipping. So that probably covers your shipping. Um, yeah, it takes up little space. <laughs> and I like it so far, but, you know, time will tell. It's whether the plants like it. I'm a little concerned, this one needs watered, um, that it might be a little too powerful, but th this is going to be for my Cattleyas. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I was thinking about buying two, but I think I'll try with one <laughs> first. Um, but so far it seems to light up the whole entire shelf. Um, he said two square feet, but it definitely gets over here. Maybe, maybe not as bright, you know, like if I wanted to put some lower lights, lower light plants over there. Um, but that's all about that. Um, I will keep you updated on how this does. Uh, I really like the guy. Uh, he invented it himself, so I like keeping little companies in business. <laughs> um. Yeah, seems to be, oh, the other thing is they have a little plug on both sides, so you can get like a little jumper cable, and if you wanted to hook two together, like, so I could hook, put a cable in here and into the next one, and hook two together, I, he said I might need a bigger power supply, but that would not be a problem, so... Oh, and that's the other thing he said, since the electronics, I don't know, you know, lighting engineer, he was talking to me, but all the, um, this is basically just the LEDs. All the electronics are in the power supply, which he said, if it goes bad, if anything goes bad, it's going to be the power supply, um, before it's supposed to, um, and they're roughly $12 on Amazon. <laughs> and I was like, sounds like a deal. All right. I'll give you one last look at the light. Um, maybe I'll shut off the overhead light so you guys can see. Okay, you can kind of see how much how bright that is. Um, this is with all the lights off in this room except for that. <laughs> um, it's definitely there's Bandit. Pretty bright. Um, <laughs> yeah, I might even be able to like, depending on the shadowing, grow next to it. <laughs> um, well, that's my review of that. I guess it's not really a review, but an unboxing. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.